This is our mission control center. This is where we fight the ship from. On other Navy ships, you might have heard of it as a combat information center. We call ours mission control center because when we fight the ship, it's a combination of self-defense systems that are on board Freedom all the time and a combination of operating our remote operated vehicles, whether they're surface, subsurface, airborne, and we do that on these consoles in this space. The console that I'm sitting at is what Ships Force uses to use our self-defense systems, whether it's our RAM missile launchers, whether it's our 57 millimeter gun, our soft kill weapon systems, or if we're not engaged in a, an actual engagement, we use these consoles to detect and identify the contacts that are out there and communicate those to other ships or within the ship itself. The other consoles that you see around the space uh, are what we use to control the remote operated vehicles or to process their data or to direct engagements using those vehicles. All right, we're standing next to an RQ-8B Fire Scout, vertical takeoff unmanned aerial vehicle. This is not a, a, a prototype or a mock-up. This is an actual production unmanned helicopter that will be deployed on board LCS and other Navy ships to go out and fly uh, reconnaissance missions right now with uh, the sensors that it has on board. It'll fly an eight-hour mission, which uh, in practical terms means that it extends our surveillance range out well beyond 100 nautical miles uh, out at sea and be able to go out there say a hundred miles away and stay there for four five or six hours and then come back and uh, it will automatically land itself on the ship and lift off and then we program where it's going to go and what it's going to do while it's out flying we have total control over the helicopter we have the ability to see what the helicopter sees through this sensor that's on the chin right here and this and this uh, sensor has a mix of, of different capabilities in it for optical and uh, infrared uh, capabilities so that we can see what's happening out there. This is the part of mission control where we control and operate the remote operated vehicles that embark. And the reason we have the remote operated vehicles is to take the risk away from the sailors and from the ship. We get them in closer to land, we get them into the hazardous areas, for example, where mines or submarines are, and we use them to reach out and touch instead of having the sailors and the ship go into harm's way.